I'm Josh I'm with uh, Blockchain API, blockchainapi.com. Um, generally, we make things easier to do on the blockchain. So, if you have any uh, specific functions you'd like to do or contracts you'd like to interact with, we just try to make your life a lot easier. So, I'm just going to explain what is an RPC node on Solana. So, first, you have to ask yourself, well, what is a blockchain? What is the purpose of Bitcoin? Bitcoin was a way to uh, have a decentralized and consistent record of a money system. So that, that was really one of the, um, the key problems that it solved, was how to maintain a consistent record of a money system that is decentralized. So, I mean, centralized system, very easy. You know, it's a database. Anybody can do that. It's a solved problem. With Bitcoin, how do you do that among many different computers? That was a big problem that Bitcoin solved. That was a breakthrough with the paper, big breakthrough. So, um, so now in blockchain language, one of these computers on this decentralized system is called a node. Okay, so that is what an RPC node is, right? It's your private, it's a private node within the whole network of the system, right? Um, and why would you want that? Well, if you could access just one node for free, then it would become very slow uh, and probably wouldn't work too well. So generally you want a private node, oftentimes, so that your app, um, your app, uh, you know, is cons reliable and always up, etc. Okay, so what do you do if you're on Solana? Well, you can use um, different private node providers like um, Run Node just raised uh, some seed funding, so uh, I recommend checking them out. Uh, or you can also try uh, so Run Node will give you private node, or you can also try Gen Genesis Go or Gene Cisco. Oh, oh, it's Genesis Go. Okay, I thought the S was capitalized. Okay, so Genesis Go, uh, and they have a private RPC um, that's sort of semi, you know, not really limited. So I'm on their Discord now. You can join their Discord. Um, here's their mainnet endpoint. Um, how is it free? Well, they have an NFT collection that they're making about a million dollars a month or, or something like that. I don't know, 100,000 to a million in royalties on. And so they're able to do this for the community. Um, if you spam it, you'll get blocked. So they do have some measures in place. And then really quick, the last thing I'd like to go over is um, I had one person ask me if they could use the API on Phantom's node right so first of all why wouldn't this work one phantoms using a private node that's going to limit by ip address so they immediately rate limit me so the api just wouldn't work right if i was using phantoms node versus my own private node um okay and then besides that um why would they ask this they were they were somehow thinking that the transactions were stored on phantoms node and not at all no that's the whole purpose of blockchain is that it should be consistent among all the different nodes so even if you have a private node it should be the same now that brings me to mainnet and devnet okay so mainnet and devnet they can be entirely different nodes because they're different networks so one node can host both because it's just one computer hosting both just like one computer could also host an ethereum node um but you know uh, it's an entirely different network. So I think sometimes people get confused. They think mainnet's a node. Mainnet is a network. Okay, because then people think uh, api.mainnet beta dash Solana. This is like the public Solana node that you can use. You're pretty quickly rate limited if you try to do anything on it. Um, yeah, people think that this is uh, this is somehow like... Like when you when I say mainnet beta and API that I mean this node. I don't. I mean the network, mainnet beta. And then DevNet is a separate network. Okay, so so if you look here, for example, Genesis Go has a mainnet endpoint and a DevNet endpoint. Right? These are two separate endpoints. Okay. Uh, these are two separate nodes on two separate networks. Alright, cool. I'm glad we cover that. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. Oh yeah. And here, actually, I'll just explain really quick. Here are the docs, right? So when you're calling something, you can change the network from DevNet to mainnet beta. 
right? That's changing the network, not the node. I mean, it's also changing the node, but the, the purpose is I can change that with any other node on DevNet and it would accomplish the same function. Um, okay, all right, cool, thank you, bye-bye.